Cheers, man. The five Ps are not just a joke. Proper preparation prevents poor performance, and I mean it. Oh, it's for real. Can you say that again in slow motion for the people in the back? <laughs> proper, proper preparation prevents poor performance. That's the love five it. Ps. Love it, love it, love it. Right? Bam. We got married on 11, 11, 11. 11, 11 of one. Pretty cool. And she's my best friend, and I love her more today than when I married her. Aww. I try, my man, and I tell you what, it's, it's, I was not kidding in my, my whatever, my tryout post contest video. This, this place has for real changed me. Um, New York's a different place where I grew up. You legitimately will get in an elevator and not make eye contact. Hope it's less than the 60th floor so you don't have to exhale. Like, it sucks. Um, have become a, a happier, friendlier, more open, given person here. Like I, I like to, to train people and got satisfaction out of it when I had my job. This place is this place is just awesome. This place is nice. great. I, I love to help people. Try my best, man. You know, uh, a lot of the times I just got you guys on on the Bluetooth, or I'm 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 in a van, or I'm running a sales call, or I'm, I'm helping somebody, or whatever it is. But if I hear something I can help for, I'll usually try and stop. Um, have definitely been caught. Coming down off a ladder and dancing to Pika Pika with a client coming out in the garage. <laughs> they love Jason Gregory. Love you already. Thank you so much for that super chat. And I guess if everybody's making it, wow, uh, wow, 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 very nice. <laughs> yeah, I guess I got a guy. <laughs> Would like to thank you for that super chat. It's a super duper super chat. Thank you so much, Jason Gregory, for them attendees. Thank you so much. Degrade, degrade. Thank you so much. I would marry her again if I could. Aww. Love, brother. Controlled aggression. A lot of the times I like to have my powder ready. Um, I like to be conservative and and just do my due diligence and I'll, I'll tiptoe in and I'll tiptoe in. And if I have to average down, I will. If I really believe in a stock, I'll, I'll average down. If not, I hold the bag for a little while. I'm not into selling, uh, but uh, I'm not into putting money into the market in something I haven't done a ton of research in. So, patience, patience, patience. That's right, Bulldog. Patience in poker, patience in trading. That stock market has a way of money, moving money from, from the impatient to the patient. Same on the poker table, for real. Um, I, I think that the stock market also has a way of finding fish. A shiny object sometimes is a shiny object for a reason. If you ever watched rounders, they tell you sit down at a poker table for the first 30 minutes and don't play a hand. Just watch around. If you don't find the fish, stand up and leave. You are the fish, okay? Um, sometimes you gotta play the, the, the hand life deals you. So you know, just, just be really careful. There's a trade tomorrow, there's a trade the next day. You don't have to be in every single day. Um, do you do diligence? <laughs> Not quite the dolphin. Yeah. <clears throat> I just love you guys here this uh the fam's amazing they've inspired me i'd like to uh hopefully be able to give back i know it's competition but like a lot of people have said everybody's a winner here man it it just doesn't matter everybody's good if i can help uh in front behind it's all good i i enjoy helping the fam uh when bulldog put this out there i thought you know either the grapefruits and do it i may uh may never get this opportunity to again to help the family and you know from what i i let you guys in on a little of my business today I, I i happen to really enjoy get some satisfaction out of helping people i i've been around a lot of blocks in my life and and i'd like to help people in in any way possible and uh i don't know i don't do impressions i i can probably work on them but impressions are not my thing my singing might hurt some people or make some dogs cry in karaoke, but I'm not afraid of it. So uh, that's that. I would absolutely love to help people. Um, I have been an absolute information junkie on on blockchain and crypto and that. So um, I've I've helped several people here set up wallets and start to get some passive income. So you know I'm always willing and, and able to help with that. Um, Any way I can help. Uh, I'd, I'd love to help everybody and you know if uh, if we get to have some fun along the way and we play awesome games and we play poker and we have our football time and we watch fights in UFC all the better everybody's a winner this place rocks um
contest. Who's on the mic with me? Yeah, boy. What's going on? My long term goal right now is I want to become better trader and better teacher to educate others. Two, of course, everybody wants to make money and retire. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing what I like. No, yes. because it's just a passion. I, I don't need no money. I don't want no money. All I want to do is teach and help. And, and if you make money, oh my God, those are the riches I like. Knowing that I, I changed your life. That's, you can't imagine. Yeah. I changed your life. That, that feeling, that joy in me is incredible. That's the most beautiful thing you can do for another person is to give him a fresh start. Well, yeah, I've cooked a lot of food. German, American, right. a little Chinese, okay. uh, Spanish. I make pizzas. I've made pizzas for like 15 years. I could throw New York pizzas and throw them in there. Boom, bam, bam, boom. There you go. Hawaiian, whatever, pan. Pineapple, whatever you want. No, no, I we mean, don't need that pineapple. No. <laughs> How do you, where do you stand on the pineapple on pizza? Are, are you a pineapple pizza fan? Uh, I like Hawaiian pizza. It's not oh, bad. Oh, okay. Controversy. I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah. And you'll see what TikTok got cooking. Some AMC, some GME, I don't know. Some sister, a little bit of Shiva, you know, a little bit of Dodge. And splat Bitcoin. We're good. <laughs> With me tendies, tendies. You know, we're breading up those tendies. That's what we're breading it up with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's I'm going to make you some chicken tendies. I'm going to make you a little bit of fish taco. Fish oh. taco is the best. Tendies, okay. tacos, chicken, pork. What do you like? Ooh. What do you want? What do you deserve? What do you desire? <laughs> All of it. I want to know. I want to make you happy. Happy. All I want to do is make you happy. All right, I will man. bring whatever it takes to make you happy on a plate. I will try to throw a little bit of AMC, a little bit of GME. What do you want? A little bit of crypto? We throw a little bit of crypto. We're good. We're good. And I could be here like this all day. All day. I just want to say, Trader fan, thank you for giving me the opportunity. I hope that I stay my made you laugh a little bit. <laughs> but hey, I love you guys. Keep striving to become who you really are. Invest in yourself. Remember that. There ain't nobody better. You got it, boy. We want you at Bulldogs Trading. Don't forget. Sign up. Enlist. <laughs> I love you guys, dude. I mean, much love. Te quiero mucho. Y clima dich. Bye-bye. And peace, baby. Trader family. This is Birdie Hunter. Uh, okay. Um, well, I can do a lot of things with a, a ball, whether if it's a, a cricket ball, a football, or a golf ball, because that's what what uh, what I've been doing all my life, playing with uh, golf or, or footballs, uh, playing sports, especially when I was young. And after that, uh, I decided to. Uh, uh, to quit doing that. I, I was quite good at playing cricket. I played at the highest level in uh, in, in my country. I even played for uh, the Netherlands team. And then uh, one day I just decided to quit and um, yeah, pay attention more to my study. And because I had a lot of time over, I uh, took on a job as a shoe salesman in a sports <laughs> shop. Uh, and from that, uh, yeah, going to college and we had a couple of drinks in the bar and then the owner of the bar asked me if I uh, wanted to work there. And uh, yeah, I st stuck around that place for uh, some years. And at the uh, end, end of the day, I was uh, running his bar and uh, <laughs> I, I was enjoying myself and I, I was sleeping at night, uh, sleeping at, at, at day and working at night. and. 
And so, yeah, I was really enjoying that. And then uh, a good old friend of mine, um, he, he went he went up to my place and he, he said, well, uh, you need to get so serious at some stage in life. And uh, yeah, he, he had a point. So I decided then to fly all over the world with KLM. So I, I took a serious job. I got a, a paycheck and I bought a house instantly because this is the way I was... Uh, raised by my parents you, you need to buy your own home and that's a way to make money as well and so i did that and um yeah after that uh, I, I decided to get some real jobs so i've been a shoe salesman i've been a sports semi-professional i've been a bartender i've been a dj in the same bar I've been a flight attendant, I've been um, a, a call center manager, and then uh, I own my own business now for years. So I've done I would everything say. and anything in life. And my, uh, your question was, uh, what's your um, yeah, one particular skill? And I think that I'm an all-rounder. I've done everything. I've got a, a big stack of experience in uh, a lot of things in life. And I think that's now a benefit uh, to me and maybe uh, ho hopefully uh, to others in the channel. And that's uh, how I started in, in March uh, 2020 when the market dropped because of the pandemic uh, starting. And I saw it drop 10%. I bought at 17 euros, I think. Two days later, it was 12. Oh, wow. <laughs> I had to average down my first, uh, uh, on my first shot. And yeah, I held on to it and uh, I, I sold it uh, far, I think. Okay. So you were able to learn some lessons, uh, didn't yeah, end up taking a big loss. Yeah, from the beginning. And I, I was not good at it at first, uh, first time I... Um, invested about uh, yeah, just over 10,000 euros, I, I guess, in the first year from March till Christmas. And at Christmas, I was not a happy camper. I was down three or 4,000 euros. And uh, yeah, that's because I, I only thought about the market and about stocks, uh, only fundamentals. And that's, uh, yeah, that I learned the hard way that it's not only about that. It's, it's also about it, but there's a lot more to it. Gotcha. I never heard about shorting and things like that. I, I never, I, now I know, now I know. I'm still developing a style. If you, if you say, what, what kind of style do you have? Yeah, I'm, I'm nowadays I'm uh, playing options and I do that on a daily basis. Uh, as you know, uh, I, I, I know. mentioned that. <laughs> some of my trades in the in the chat, uh, hoping that uh, yeah you could benefit of it but that that's what I do daily uh, but yeah uh, I'm holding AMC since January uh, most of it so I see that as an investment now but if if it spikes tomorrow I'm willing to sell <laughs> but not at this price yeah I, I've got a, a a minimum number of AMC and a minimum number of GME I want to hold. And what I noticed, uh, especially in the beginning uh, of the GameStop and AMC after the January peak, uh, they were all trading sideways. Uh, AMC up 2%, GameStop 2%. But lately, the, the last couple of weeks, I think, you see gaps between them. Uh, AMC uh, dipping 7% on the day where GameStop is holding uh, the, the position. And then I'm tempted to uh, sell some of GME by the dip of AMC and hope for the best that the, the other day, the next day, it's just the other way around and I will trade the other way around. And therefore I try to get some some more GameStop and some more uh, AMC in that process. So I, I, I will definitely uh, keep doing that, yeah. Uh, in the beginning, I was just uh, shooting at stocks that were dropping on a daily basis and then hoping to, for it to get back up. And But I, I learned to sell 
difficult, uh, especially now trading options. You have to do that uh, more seriously. And um, I set a goal a couple of weeks ago uh, after studying all the vids uh, available on uh, option trading on YouTube. And thanks, Bulldog, for pointing out some of those. And uh, uh, the, uh, the calculator, uh, the option calculator uh, was really helpful. And uh, from that, I set my goal uh, at gaining 400 euros a week while trading next to the uh, holdings of GameStop and AMT. Yeah, if there's um, uh, some hedgy listening, uh, say uh, Kenny, um, my good friend uh, Daniel Millionaire, he uh, asked me this morning if I if I were on, on camera, if I could arrange uh, AMC to go to a uh, hundred US dollars plus. And I said, well, I can give it a go. So th this is my go. Kenny, please, can you, um, just for this week, just for this week, can you uh, please stop using the dark pool until Friday end of trading? And then uh, quite probably, AMC will go over 100 and my good friend Daniel Millionaire can order his boat. If you're listening and if you're willing to help us out, uh, please do so. Not not only for Daniel, but uh, yeah, I would be happy if you did that uh, too. Thank you. Uh, I'm happy to uh, uh, to get to know uh, the Bulldog family and, uh, and you and uh, a lot of guys in the chat as well. Uh, uh, I'm chatting with uh, a lot of people every day and Absolutely. Yeah, it's just, just nice. Yeah, I saw in the chat, I saw earlier that uh, people were asking what this uh, line was. I can let you, uh, I can show you. Under it, there's the driver. It's my biggest friend on the golf course. You guys uh, wear wooden shoes for Christmas or anything cool like that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's... Uh, uh, a tradition uh, uh, that's only for the tourists. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we don't do that, nah. nah but um, I see uh, Mitchell Wayne placing uh, uh, some kind of leaf uh, in, uh, <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I don't, I don't get it. You guys uh, in the chat, and, and not only in this chat room, but um, yeah, you are so happy about that. Uh, <laughs> it, it's been part of my life forever. In the coffee shops in the Netherlands, you, you don't get coffee, you just get nice things to smoke. And that's perfectly legal. It's been that way for, well, since I was an adult. I don't use it myself because, well, I tried it once, but I didn't like it. But but I do have a favorite moment. If, if you ask me in, on the spot, I think about uh, uh, the early days. That, uh, in, I think it was January or... or, or uh, February, early February, probably, when uh, a certain Mr. Bulldog uh, left the mic on, and uh, he, <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if Lindsay likes it if uh, if I tell tell her that uh, he was on the uh, on a hot mic and she was not re really pleased about her husband at that stage, <laughs> and we all heard it. Oh. So that, that, yeah, that was that, that is my favorite. Yeah, that, it can't be beaten, probably. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. I am D-grade uh, trucker. Uh, I don't really, I don't know much, much to say about myself, but I'm a hardcore gamer. I travel across the United States. I love this channel. I mean, 90% 90, 90 of my time is on this channel. <laughs> this this channel is pretty much my life now for some reason. Uh, Ours too. I mean, there's not really, I'm an open, I'm a, I'm open book. I mean, you ask me anything, I'll, I mean, you, I am what you see. That, that's that's it. Let me say this first. I love this channel. This channel has made me a better person. You, the host, 
Bulldog, this little place that Bulldog and Lindsay made. Even even everybody in the every everything in the chat has made me a better person. That being said, I want to give back to this community. Give back to the community. Uh, so I'm willing to give up, and well, not give up, invest most of my spare time, if not all. Which I got a lot of spare time being on the road all the time. <laughs> just uh, just to, just to grow this community. If yeah. it's me jumping on the mic, so be it. I'll jump on the mic. If it's me wanting me working behind the scenes, let's do it. I'll work behind the scenes all day long. <laughs> as long as it's for this community. Yeah. First okay. trade was I bought Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin. Really? Uh, at the time, it was, yeah, 2017. Bitcoin was about two grand, three grand. Uh, Ethereum was a few hundred dollars, I think about four or five. Damn. And Litecoin was like 50, 60. And I mean, yeah, I made, I made some pretty good money on yeah. it. I wish I kept it. <laughs> I wish I kept it. Right. But I didn't know what I had at the time. I made like like a thousand dollars. Yeah. And then I completely stopped trading for a while. And then Stash came out. Uh, now I started putting a little money in the Stash, just throwing it in there, and just pretty much quit trading altogether until I found this channel. Favorite moment? Of, that's that's a hard one. I mean, there's just been so much yeah. that happens on this channel, and the way everybody comes together, I mean, good or bad. It's great. And I, I mean, uh, I would have to say, uh, I don't know if anybody in the chat remembers this, but this happened uh, when Gone Postal, about a couple of weeks after Gone Postal got on the night, and we called it Senior Gate. And oh. it was pretty much everybody, everybody pretending to be old people in this, uh, in a, uh, in a senior's home. <laughs> Trini over there yelling bingo every five minutes. <laughs> one, one last pause. He going the first uh, the first thing I hear the first thing to go is the mine. <laughs> I'm blaming I'm blaming Gone Post for stealing my dog. I told me to keep my wife to bring back my dog. <laughs> uh, we've been asking this question. Do you have any unique talents? <laughs> unique talents? <laughs> Not really. Uh, I mean, I know a bunch of random facts that no one cares about. Like I said, you I like couldn't tell you. Facts? Yeah, I, I couldn't really tell you about unique talents. I don't. I never really thought of myself as unique or talented of any sort of way. Uh, but I am willing to take any challenge, no matter how land how, how outlandish it is. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, that could be a thing. Just for MIA, just for MIA. Let's here. Let's do this. That soup, soup. Soup, super chat. All right. <laughs> Did you growl? <laughs> yeah, I growled. <laughs> this family is my family. I would do anything for y'all. I would put myself in a hole for y'all. I love this family. And this family has done more to me than anybody will ever know. So thank you. I don't know if y'all heard this, but I'm signing out now. Love you guys. Well, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Adam E. As you all know, it's extremely amazing to be here. Um, just completely surreal, honestly. Um, you know, I, I, I'm 41 years old. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, you guys now know Heather E. in the chat, my lovely wife. I um, have two amazing boys, Jackson and Aiden, uh, a really old dog who is a uh, who is a total trooper and uh, that dog doing? Girl, Ginger. What's that dog doing? That's right. I like to use the environment, if that makes sense. I, I like oh, to yeah. look around and, you know, and see what's going on in the world and try, hey, you know, uh, can I use what's happening right now potentially to better my own 
financial status uh, b because of because of what's going on. What stock could be related to what's going on? What could what could prosper on that? I see what I like, and if I like it and I feel good about it, then that's what I invest in. Then that's I'll, awesome. I'll throw some in it, and it might not be. <laughs> It might not be much. I, I've got so many just, you know, the very small stakes and just, gosh. Uh, or from REN, SIN, CPOP, CEI, Argo Blockchain, uh, ATER, uh, those just small stakes on, on the crypto side. I mean, I've got a little bit of Ethereum. I've got more ADA. ADA and SHIB right now are, uh, are my main two, but I have a little bit of XLM, VE Chain, Tron, BTT, Seller, ICP, Matic, DOT. KN and bakery token but I can put smiles on your faces and that's what I'm all about. I want all of you all smile because it makes for a better day. <laughs> degrade, degrade. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Let's see, here we go. This is my new one. Let's see how you like. Soup, 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 chat. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Man, I was uh, I bust out some boogie walk on here a little bit. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> Anyways, man. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta give another one. Oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta work on my dog. The very, very first uh, crypto trade was Ethereum, and that was in 2018. Um, that was the one I had, I, I downloaded, um, Voyager actually at that particular time. That was a, I downloaded Voyager. I was just hearing about crypto, you know, like really nobody at work was talking about it. I was still, that was before I retired in the service and, uh, nobody at work was really talking about it, but I'd hear it mentioned on, you know, news and just, uh, you know, various media outlets. And I was like, Hey, what is this? What, what's this Bitcoin? Ethereum, what is this? crypto cash you know I, I didn't know anything about it so anyways I, I bought in I think it was only like $45 uh, I noticed that didn't get me squat so I put like 80 more dollars on it and that actually at that time got me almost a half of an ethereum uh, token coin now we're going to call it but it, ethereum at that point at that time was only I think 200 and like Fifteen dollars, two hundred twenty, something like that. But anyways, uh, yeah. So two days later, and then I, I ended up doing this with my first stock with AMC as well. Again, so two days later, I turned right around and sold it. I, I like it's like I flipped out because it had a little bitty dip, and all of a sudden, you know, my I think ninety nine fifty that I put into it was down to like 98 75 and i was like hey what this it's losing money oh my gosh this stinks and i immediately saw it i was like what's all this talking about losing money it was like 75 cents man you know i had no idea what the dips were and, and rips and you know I, I i had no idea um so that was that was my first trade and at that moment i quit uh i did not trade anymore after that uh, for quite a while it was a couple years later i ended up downloading actually it was on a radio show somebody was pushing uh robin hood on the radio show and hey, keep in mind guys i didn't know anything about any of the other trading platforms at that point so i, I know how a lot of our people's feelings towards uh the hood is but you know i i that that's what i downloaded um and I bought in at that moment to uh, Dogecoin. I, I, I saw in the crypto and, and I bought into Doge. It was at three tenths of a penny at that particular time frame. And a couple days later, I turned right around and did the same thing again while it was on a slight dip. And so that, um, and then again, the that app got turned off. I didn't uninstall it, but I didn't even open it up. Uh, about a year later, uh, it, which was now about a year ago, I pulled it up again, and I don't even know. I I can't remember if I had already bought. I think Robinhood. I think I actually got a share of AMC for free at that moment. And AMC, keep in mind, at that time was a dollar eighty. It was on its uh, uh, after it had just tanked. Um, and it was like a dollar eighty, and I think they gave that to me as my free stock. I remember I was, yeah, they did, because I was bummed that I didn't get Apple. 
because you know you get the whole hey you could get a share of Apple. Oh, yeah. like, oh, <laughs> awesome oh i get i get amc which hey nothing wrong with amc but i, I didn't know anything about it outside of the fact right. that it was a movie theater you know and um it, anyways i i did end up holding on to that one and that's when i ended up uh, about a couple months later I, I still didn't really mess with too much after that. I had made my initial deposit to get those free stocks. And a couple months later, um, I had heard on Sport, Kentucky Sports Radio, one of our guys named Matt Jones, who hosts that show, he was uh, pushing, uh, a, he wasn't pushing AMC. He had just bought some for his co-host. And that's when I was like, oh, well, if he's doing it, I mean, this is another Kentucky fan. So I, you know, it's, <laughs> it's gotta be cool. Um, so I did the same thing and bought it. And, um, it, I, it, it was, it was right at the time when the, uh, the Reddit, you know, uh, the, the pump happened and then the dump happened right after. And that was the first time I learned a hard lesson about, uh, selling with Robin hood when something's getting halted on the way down. And, um, you know, I, I put in a sell order and the hot happened, the hot stopped, the hot happened again, the hot stopped, the hot happened again, the hot stopped, and uh, I didn't end up, <laughs> it didn't end up going through for a few of those hots. And I, I was a little bit uh, upset with Robin Hood after, uh, at, at that point. That's what kind of soured me on them. However, I still kept using them because I didn't know anything else about it. But th that had me hooked into the stock market. At that moment, I was like, wait a minute, what is this? How? something just shot up like that what causes that how can that happen you know and that's when i hopped onto youtube and that's when i originally found the first couple channels with matt cores and trace trades and it, i listened to them for a few days and like i said it just nothing against them but it, it just went oh thank you h2o bubbles H happy birthday to you too. <laughs> uh, but I, I listened to them for a while and um it, it was uh it, uh like i said it, it was just that same it was just that, um, just that single GME and AMC. Like I said, nothing, nothing, you know, wrong with that. But it, I noticed that people were having to send money to get a response out of, uh, you know, anything they would ask. And I was like, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I was trying to listen to, you know, just what their input was, and and that's when I found out about the, you know, the first time I heard the term retail investor, and I was like, retail investor. And I was like, oh, I guess that's technically, you know, what I would be considered at this moment. And, you know, the rise of the retail investor has completely changed the market. Uh, I mean, in an unreal way, like you talk about, uh, you'll have great news dropping and, <laughs> and the stock will turn right around the next day and start tanking. And it's like, wait a minute, what? You know, traditionally, that didn't happen back then. Um, and I wasn't trading back then, but just getting into uh, looking into um, the history and and going back through old reports and stuff online and going through Google. I mean, it, it didn't. That that's this is you know that wasn't going on back then. This is this is what retail investors have have uh, you know how they've changed the game. It, it's 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 our arrival, you know. And um, it, we I guess you know we leave our mark, right? You know, we 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 do things how we want to do it and. Um, the, it, the rise of the meme stock has just been crazy, but at the same time, it's opened up so many opportunities. I mean, you you got so many uh, rips, you know, and then major major dips sometimes after, and it, you just you have a lot of people that have been able to really cash in and find financial freedom. I mean, uh, you know, by getting involved doing? at the right time, and uh, the dog doing. <laughs> <laughs> they got in. At the, they got in at the right time, and uh, it, you know, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it may be, you know, they may have completely lucked out and, and got into it, and it, it. But then, lots of times, you know, they've really dug in and done their homework, and and that's what I love about this channel. Uh, so many of our people. I mean, my God, I, you know, I, I'm still learning so much and people like you and Andre P and Sabrina and I mean, my gosh, and Don Johnson and, and Heidenreich. And, oh, by the way, shout out to Heidenreich. I meant to tell him that. I know he's not, he's at work right now, but shout out to Heidenreich and shout out to Rich, my uh, Louisville brother who had no idea. I'd totally forgotten. He's literally lives like 15 minutes away from me. Um, anyways. Yeah, so uh, it, it you know that I was late Yeah, I'm I'm I, I would I would say more of a swing trader. Um, I, I'm trying to uh, I've I've got you know uh, some investments as far as going long term goes and, and hodling. I still do have I I, I love AMC. 
Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm down to, I'm, I'm only down to 10 shares of AMC. So, um, I, but I, that's, that's, I'm not touching those. Those aren't being touched whatsoever. I, and I don't knock on anybody who takes their tendies, you know what I mean? Because I've, yeah. I've done that plenty of times as well. Um, I don't think there's, you know, to me, you do whatever, whatever you need to do. <laughs> and that I, I, and I don't feel that anybody should attempt to bully or berate somebody, you know, j to make them feel, you know, make them feel bad because they're not potentially hodling, you know, a particular stock. Um, Absolutely. It, it, you know, you, what you got to understand is everybody has a different situation and going on in their life and whatever they need to make them happy. That's what they need to do to make, you know, to make their life better. I dropped the pizza. Come on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Kermit the Frog here. It ain't easy being green. Foghorn Leghorn. Okay. I said, I boy. I said, boy. I say, hey, Bob, now, what are you doing? Now, see, my Mitch McConnell and my Foghorn kind of goes, uh, they kind of they kind of merge in. And that's also like, uh, I, you see, and I'll, uh, yeah, Mitch will, Mitch will turn into Sean Connery. I think somebody said that in there. Uh, I'll take ain't no bum cover for 200, Tremac. I can't believe we've been coming up on an hour and a half because to me, honestly, it feels like I've been, yeah, been here for like 10 minutes, um, if even that. It, you all, all of you all out there, it, you all are my true extended family. Um, I love the interactions with you all. It, you, you make me feel so good um, when I can sit there and impact uh, and help any of you all out by chatting with you. And even on the side and discord, if, if it's a vent session or whatnot, no matter your situations, um, you know, I, I love that. And I want to be able to just continue what you all do for me and that, that positivity, the making me feel better, um, every single day I feed off of that. And I feel that me personally, and the way that I am, if you all give me that chance, um, you can feed off of my energy. I'm just, I'm all about, Hey man, I want, I want that sunshine. I want that positive message spread. Um, you know, I want the love to be felt and I want you all to be smiling. You know, my goal is to put a smile on all of your all's faces at, at least, at least have you smiling a few times a day. I know certain situations go on where you may not be able, it, it, it's a, it's a bad situation and things happen, but I, I, I will do my darndest to make sure that I can at least try to cheer you up. You know, I, I, I will put a, again, it's not a positive spin because I wouldn't call it a spin. It's that positive message is there in every situation. And I would love to help you find it. If that's what's needed, that is what, you, that's what I will do to help you find that positive message. Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, again, thank you all so much. Uh, no matter what happens, I'm a member for life. I'm not going anywhere, even if I'm not on the mic. Um, no matter who wins this, it, you all have me all the time in the chat and I'm not going anywhere. I will continue doing what I do if I can't do it on the mic. Three hours later. Thank you all. Uh, this has been amazing. And yeah, I mean, I, th thank you for your support. I, I hope I can, I hope I can continue, you know, just trying to push what the other hosts are doing. I, if I can do it, if I'm, if I would be able and lucky enough to do this and be able to even come close to what they do, then it's a successful mission. You know, I mean, it's a successful day every single day when that happens. So, and uh, oh, I, I think there is one coming through here. Well, I I I I nice. <laughs> so, D grade, you got my you got my first one, and I think I got it on. So, since we're getting ready to sign out, you will get the last one that is on me today. D grade, thank what you, thank, doing? thank you so much for that amazing soup, soup, soup. Soup, soup, yeah! All you, brother. I appreciate that more than you can know. I hope you all have a wonderful green afternoon, and uh, you know I'll be back in the chat. So um, I will talk at you guys here very soon. <laughs>
I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that